Okay, so I got the water pump off. The radiator's obviously out. This is the transmission cooler right here. Uh, I've got the water pump out. And uh, here are the ports. There's the, the passenger side port where the pump pumps water into the block. And here's the driver's side port where it pumps water into the block. When I put water into the system, obviously my thermostat's still in, but when I, when I push water in through the bypass or if I put it in, through the uh, through the heater uh, through the heat system right there in that gizmo, uh, water goes into the system and it comes out this driver's side port only. I can't get it to come out of the excuse me. It comes out of the passenger side port only. I can't get it to come out of this driver's side port. The only way I can get water into the engine is over here on the on the passenger side, um, but. For whatever reason, I cannot. No water when I put water into the engine. No water comes out of the driver's side port here at the bottom of the block. So I'm wondering if I have a blockage somewhere back in the block, uh, inside the block, that's keeping water from cooling both sides of the engine, and perhaps that's the source of my overheat. Is half the engine isn't being cooled. Um, I'm gonna um, run some water through here and just show you what I'm talking about. Um, but I think it should be fairly obvious just from that from that explanation. Okay, I'm putting water, come over here where you can see, I'm putting water into the bypass, and it's coming out down there on the passenger side port, pretty handily, now it's coming out up there from the heater, but you'll notice nothing on the driver's side port at all. No water coming out over there at all, not even a bit. I'm going to try to force it through by... Oh, that won't work. Hey, get the phone out of there, son. I don't want that down by the water. So anyway, nothing coming out of the other side. Stop it.